Boxing Voice. Now, with Chris Algieri, it's a, it's a very similar comparison to Oscar De La Hoya, except he's a younger version. He's not going to be weight drained. And in fact, in this fight, you're allowing him to move up a couple of pounds, which would do suit him better, being as though he was a junior welterweight. What what sort of uh, what are you expecting out of Chris Algieri in this fight, being as though that he's going to be moving up? He'd be a lot bigger boy than you. Well, that's good. That's good. You know, he deserved for this fight, and. Um but uh, I know what I'm going to do in the ring. I, it's, it's not my first time to fight a, a taller guy like him. Now you haven't had a knockout in quite some time now. Do you think that Algeria could be that next victim for Manny Pacquiao to show us that power that you used to have, how spectacular you used to be? We'll see. We'll see. Give me more than that. Yeah, we'll see on, the, on November. I know fighters don't like to get past their next fight, but if you get past Algeria, is there anybody on your radar like what that you'd like to fight for. like what i said uh, there is a, a serious negotiation between uh, the the maybe they come and that's you know that's their job let's be clear you said there's serious negotiations going on with mayweather yes exactly so while this fight is in place you're already negotiating with mayweather no i mean the 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 promoter my promoter they so so are we looking at a possible May 4th? I don't know. Probably by next year. Okay, we've got to do an HBO thing. Thank you. The Boxing Voice.